Donald Trump's decision to take children away from immigrant families and hold them in detention facilities has sparked a massive backlash that threatens to engulf his party and lead them to ruin in November. But Republicans are holding a hearing Tuesday that revolves around Hillary Clinton's emails. Maryland Democrat Elijah Cummings was not having it. Cummings took over today's hearing by pointing out the absurdity of the investigation into deleted emails and then pivoted it into a discussion of Trump's child internment camps. Are we really going to sit here, 70 members of the Congress of the United States of America in 2018, and have a hearing that just repeats the hearings the Senate had yesterday on Hillary Clinton's emails, he asked. At this point I think it's crystal clear that the only answer Republicans will accept is that Hillary Clinton must be guilty. They will keep going on and going until they get that answer. Even if the facts will never support it. And even if multiple independent reviews come to exactly the opposite conclusion. But then Cummings pivoted to what's really important, the 2,000 children being held on the U.S.-Mexico border, away from their families. Cummings was angry as he started speaking, and came close to breaking down into tears as he finished. Look, even if you believe people entered our country illegally, even if you believe they have no valid asylum claims in their own country, even if you believe immigration should be halted entirely, we all should be able to agree that, in the United States of America, we will not intentionally separate children from their parents, he said. We will not do that. We are better than that. We are so much better. We should be able to agree that we will not keep kids in child internment camps indefinitely and hidden away from public view. What country is that? This is the United States of America. Cummings also touched on the idea that Trump may be kidnapping the children and giving them away to Americans as they send the parents back to the country of origin for allegedly committing a misdemeanor. We now have reports of parents being deported, but the Trump administration is keeping their children here, he said. Understand this, this was a policy invented, implemented and executed by President Donald Trump. So in conclusion, Mr. Chairman, we need, those children need you. I'm talking directly to my Republican colleagues. We need you to stand up to President Trump. We need you to join us in telling him that we reject this mean policy. We need you to tell him to abandon this policy. We need you to remind him that this is the United States of America and it is a great country. And we need you to stand up for those children. Watch below.